We're here at Bush Gardens for Christmas celebration, which is basically an abridged version of the Christmas town that we're used to because of the restrictions in Virginia due to COVID. We won't see all of the entertainment offerings that we're used to, so no Gloria production or stage show in Das Fest House or no figure skating extravaganza in the Royal Palace Theater. But that's okay because we do have some entertainment offerings. There's acoustic music in New France. There's a pianist on the stage in Das Fest House playing Christmas carols. And there are carolers in both Ireland and in England. Plus there is a treat trail for the littles and a gingerbread man scavenger hunt, which sounds fun. Plus there are 15 rides open, including two of my favorites, Finnegan's Flyer and Verbolton. Um, I really love drop rides, if you couldn't tell. My third favorite is Mock Tower, and that's not open, but if I've learned anything from Meatloaf, it's that two out of three ain't bad. So let's head on in and see what we can get into. Mask up! Celebration is a special ticketed event. It comes with memberships but is not included in annual passes. And unfortunately, you can't use your free friends and family tickets that come with memberships. Reservations are required. There are two sessions on weekends one from 10 to 3, and one in the evening from 5 to 10. And during the week, they only have the evening 5 to 10 period available. Now, starting the Friday before Christmas, which I believe is September 18th. They will have both sessions, 10 to 3 and 5 to 10, every day until January 3rd, which is the last day of Christmas celebration. I may have 20 horses at home, but that's not going to stop me from visiting the horses here at Bush Gardens. Hi, Aiden. Oh no, danger. We're going to start our day at Grogan's Pub. Like usual, I can't help myself. I am a sucker for a pub or a tavern. When we are at Universal, I really love to go to Finnegan's and Three Broomsticks and Hogshead. Oh my gosh, there's a scary bird. When we're at Disney Springs, I really love Raglan Road. And at Epcot, I love Rose and Crown. If they were to serve beer at Gaston's Tavern, you'd have to drag me out of there too. 
Oh my gosh. I don't think they want me to go in. They're guarding it with scary birds. <laughs> scary. I can't get into the pub because they're blocking it with a big scary bird of prey. I got the cranberry hot toddy and Mike got the warm apple pie drink. The last time I had a hot toddy was one that I made for myself when I wasn't feeling well and it was trash. So let's hope that this one is better. Does yours taste like a hot apple pie? Oh, it's hot. Very good though. Very cranberry, very yummy. How's your drink, my fine sir? <laughs> that is the largest bellows I've ever seen. That is what that is, right? All right, warm apple pie. It smells like warm apple pie. Oh, that is delicious. Mm, that is really good million times better than the one I made for myself. I spy what looks like a little green elf. We got an order of the holiday frites, which come with frites, obviously, roast beef, Swiss cheese, and these delicious looking cider onions, which I'm very excited about. And gravy, there's gravy somewhere in there. If I can eat these without making a mess. Unlikely. Mmm. I was right. The onions are amazing.
We also got the after dinner mint drink. Not usually a hot drink person, but it is a Christmas event, so. Oh, that's really good. It's like hot chocolate with just a little mint kick, like creme de menthe or something. Good. Probably not the best to accompany fries, but after the fries, then I'll have the drink. In the Griffin Gifts building, right outside of the Griffin ride in the France area, you can get your picture taken, socially distanced, of course, with Frosty or this handsome gingerbread man. <laughs> They switch out. Frosty! Dinner and a show. Time for some cookies and hot cocoa. While we were in Germany, we stopped to get some hot chocolate. Um, they had salted caramel mint, which we didn't opt for because we'd already had that after dinner mint drink. And they have peanut butter. I've never had a peanut butter hot chocolate, but I feel like peanut butter and chocolate go together amazingly well. I used to have peanut butter cups for breakfast. It's not even a joke. I used to have peanut butter cups every morning with Mountain Dew for breakfast. So I thought, let's try it out. Oh my gosh, all hot chocolate should come that way. And we got a macadamia nut cookie. Mm. Yes. And the peanut butter hot chocolate, yes, yes, and yes. Approved. I cannot stress this enough. This peanut butter hot chocolate is amazing and it's probably my favorite drink that I've had today and it's not even boozy so I feel like that speaks volumes. Get one. I miss you Mock Tower. Maybe next year. <laughs> So having you enter Fest House around yeah, the back. The normal entrance is exit only. It is a lot quieter in here than it usually is. A lot less crowded. For the Wazerhund, Wazerhund, 
German Schippeweizen because it's one of Virginia crafted beer and it made sense to get a German beer in the German Best House. Oh, that's really good. It's like caramel notes. That's a good choice. So the beer room in the back, the big one with the bar, is not open, unfortunately. But they did have a pretty good selection of German as well as seasonal beers for you to grab and take back to a table. And the pianist honestly was really nice. I quite enjoyed it. Mike is very into this hang game. Hang for two minutes. Thinks I should practice at home. What's the gimmick? Because I think I can do that. Oh, when this back opens back up. Game on. Over yonder is Italy. And Pantheon. No, not allowed. Brings it all times. I spy a gingerbread man. Sanitize your hands before it. going to take a ride on the train. It is a replica of the train that was in England, uh, the Queen's train, around 1900. Much thanks to the very nice attendant for that extra little tidbit of information.
I think this is my favorite gingerbread man. Look how dapper and handsome he is. Thank you for having us. So it was definitely a lot different than regular Christmas Town, but they still had some musicians around singing and playing Christmas carols, so that added to the ambiance. That was really nice. The split times makes it a little tricky because you can see all the decorations during the day, but obviously we couldn't really see the, the lights. So we'll come back in a couple weeks and do another video with all of the nighttime decorations and see what the difference is. But all in all, I think it was a really good day. The snacks were good, the rides were fun. We liked the performances. Most gratifying day. And I cannot stress this enough, that peanut butter hot chocolate. If you do not have that in your life, you are missing out. <laughs> <laughs>